my very basic outline. Right. So, uh, for the background, I'm going to use cobalt blue and my white for the background. Okay. Okay, and here you go. You about a quarter size drop of the blue and the white, and I'm using my big thick brush here. I, I don't. I do a lot of mixing on the canvas. I try not to do too much on my palette. I'm gonna fill in the background. I'm going to try to go a little bit darker on the outside than in the center. You can see it's very, very far from perfect here, okay? So now I'm going to fill in the branches next. To fill in the branches, I'm going to make a brown. So brown is very simple. You just need your three primaries mixed together. I'm not going to fully, in this, I need a little more yellow. I'm going to put it on the canvas a little bit underdone, if you will. Not fully mixed because I want the blending to show. Uh, I'm going to make these a lot more green next, okay? I'm going to by mixing my um, blue and yellow, all right? Um, and I'm going to add a lot more of like of swirly thin uh, branches as I do this. So, um, something I want to add next is try to make the branches look more like they're going to pop. So I'm going to add, I'm going to make the, the green a lot lighter by adding white. And I'm going to go back and forth over these branches, trying to keep the darker a little bit on the outside and the lighter in the center. So for this, I'm going to use my round brush. Last step here is to add my flowers. Now I'm gonna just almost glob them on <laughs> and uh, in, a, in a thick layer of white, okay? So also why I like to use the, the acrylics that, that are almost the, the toothpaste texture because I really like adding that texture and you can't do that with like the thinner, uh, cheaper paints. So I kept going, I kept looking back and forth just to see that I had a, a amount of flowers I was happy with. I focused more on the top and left the bottom a little bit uh, blanker. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add like to some of them, I'm going to add a little bit of um, leaves, leaves on the bottom and a, a little bit of yellow in the center of the flower with just a touch of red. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to paint your own almond blossom painting, please join me on Saturday, September 20th from 6.30 till 8.30 at the Verado Center on Main in Buckeye, Arizona. All materials are included for $30. It is a BYOB course, so please bring a beverage of your choice. My first class, my first class special gets you 
and a friend $5 off when you come together, and Rada residents get an additional $5 off per person. I will also be teaching a Very Hungry Caterpillar course from 4.30 to 6.15 for kids also on September 20th. The cost is $25 per child or $20 for Rada residents. If you can't make it to one of these courses, um, don't worry, I'm gonna hopefully have many more in the future. The link for both courses and my Facebook page is in the description below. Spaces are limited, so make sure you sign up soon. Thank you, and I hope to see you at my first course. Bye.